on all that unhealthy eating because Jump Start January starts right now with you. Hey everyone, welcome back to our channel, The Soren Seward Family. I'm Ivy. Thank you for joining us for Jump Start January. If you're new here, go ahead and smash that subscribe button Ring that notification bell so you can be notified whenever we upload a video. We don't only do weight loss on this channel, we do life. Now you guys, let's get right to this weigh-in. I don't know what it's going to be. Every day will be different and authentic. So let's get right to it. How I miss my fat bombs. I really do miss them, but I'm doing strict keto. So as you guys can see, it is 2.27 p.m. and I have not eaten, ate, whatever you want to call it. I am, babe, would you say that I am cranky right now? Yes. Yes what? <laughs> I am. You're so cranky, I don't want to elaborate. He said, he's. I'm so cranky, he doesn't want to elaborate. So I'm having like, uh, when I come off of, when I'm getting back on keto, it like, it's really tough, so like my mood swings are like all over the place. So right now I am, I said, you know what? I'm about to eat. I'm so busy, I cannot not stop to eat. So today what I'm doing is I'm still keeping the 193.6 numbers instead of uh, fluctuating up and down. I'm gonna just use those numbers and um, I'll be back with what I'm going to have for today. Um, transitioning back on keto is not easy. Um, especially mood wise, hormones and all that stuff. Everything's just raging like a tiger. Or is it roaring like a lion? Anyways, y'all get what I'm saying. Bacon is already prepped. We have the salsa, sour cream, and I'm gonna have one egg. I just need to get my cheese. There we go. Ah, yeah, thank God my husband was got me. So I have three pieces of cheese. One is a cheese it one is in the egg, and one is under the egg. Three pieces of bacon, two tablespoons of cream cheese, three tablespoons of salsa, one of the tablespoons went into the guacamole, and two is on top of the guac. You guys, let's get it. I am prepping my cheese because I didn't make any. So I will be making some right now. I got the oven on, I'm prepping it for 400. And I will be having my slices ready for the next few days. So I have two pans of cheese waiting to go in. Cheese it, cheese it came out perfect. See, they are bubbly, see the bubbles? Came out perfect, you guys. Okay, so it's 8 30 at night. Today has been completely busy and um a lot going on. Got the sink fixed because there was a hole in one of the pipes. So I am about to have some the pecan, some cream cheese, and some cheese it slices. Um, because the time is getting to nine o'clock and I don't want to be eating after nine. So that's how today went. And then for the rest of the night, I'm gonna just, I'm making, actually I'm making, look at this. So look at this, you guys. I just made another cup of coffee at 8.30 PM. I have two baskets of laundry, two to three baskets of laundry to put up. I got to get the twins clothes ready for tomorrow. I'm helping baby Dancy clean his room. I went upstairs and his room was a complete mess. Um, today totally got away from me. So for the rest of the night, I'm going to have just water after this coffee. I'm about to have a snack and, um, because I need to, I need to eat. I need to put something on my stomach, um, before nine. 
So, all right, you guys, today was just a crazy, super duper day. I don't know how my numbers are gonna look, but I'm gonna enter them into the keto tracker right now. And hopefully tomorrow I'll do better with my eating. Look at the coffee I'm running down the side of the cup. All right, you guys, we're in this together. The first day back on strict keto after cheat day was just really busy and crazy. Okay, so in the video, I told you guys that I didn't take my numbers back up to 195. If I would have took my weight up to 195, it would have gave me more calories, fat, protein, and net carbs. But I kept it at 193, what I was before I had my cheat day. So, um... As you can see, I had eight net carbs today, um, 126 grams of fat. That is amazing. That came from all those pecans. And my protein was at 52 and my calories, 1418. I think overall I had a great get back on strict keto after a cheat day. But I was very, very busy and I wish I would have had time to sit down and consume the right foods. Like I didn't have my salad. I didn't have my chicken, my normal dinner. I didn't have that. I had pecans and filled it up with a ton of fat so I could at least try to hit my numbers. All right, you guys, let's see how I did. So it's actually after midnight, it's like 12.05, and I was having a very strong craving for just something to snack on, not necessarily something sweet, so I always keep these cold and in the fridge, and I just grab one. I don't know how it's gonna affect my weighing in a few hours, but it's better than eating something that I'm not supposed to have, so there you go. Good morning, everyone. It is Sunday, January 19th, the follow-up of <laughs> the cheat day. But um, I'm feeling good. I wish I could sleep longer, but I can't. My rings don't fit anymore. Um, but we are up and we are getting ready for church. Oh, let's get it going. I don't want to take up too much of your time, guys. Thanks for rolling with us. Oh, yeah, yesterday my husband said it was going to go down. I said that it would probably go up. Let's give it 48 hours. So let's see what it was. Yesterday it was 195, correct? All right. Here we go. I was right. It went up. Yep, 196.4. I was right. I was like, the food needs time to digest. So I'm not upset, you guys. I did totally good yesterday with eating. Um... I don't feel bad. I feel like I am on the right track. I felt like all the food and stuff didn't really properly have time to digest the sugar and everything to break down. Like when your body is thrown out of ketosis, well for me, my weight usually goes up for like two days and then it gradually gets back into ketosis and it starts to drop. So that's why I was like, I'm really sure that it was going to go, continue to go up until my body gets back into ketosis. All right, you guys. Peace out. All right, you guys. Thank you so much for tuning in for Jump Start January. I will see you right back here tomorrow. Drop a comment down below and let me know how you're doing today. How's it going for you? I definitely want to know. Stay blessed, stay true, and continue to be you because the world needs more people like who? Like you. And if you're not feeling needed, remember here on the Soar and Seaweed Family Channel, we always want you to know that you are needed. Peace out, great people. Thank you.